Hi, this is Dr. Jeremy from Pneumatica Coaching Services. Um, we thank you for joining us today for our exercise program. And today we're going to be looking at how can we keep warm during this cold weather. And we hope you'll be able to enjoy it. So one of the exercises that can keep us warm is jumping. Jumping is a good exercise to keep the whole body warm and increase the body temperature. So we're going to do some jumping jacks. We're going to do some... Uh, Banana jumps and some four jumps and some back jumps. Okay, Are you ready? So we're going to do 20 jumping jumps. Are we ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Nice one. Now next one, we're going to do some banana jumps. Let's go. Some banana jumps. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We need some jumps. Touching your back. Let's do some back jumps. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And lastly, we're going to do some forward jumps. Forward jumps, twenty forward jumps. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Nice one. I'm sure you can feel your body getting warmer and warmer. So the next form of exercise that can help keep warm is jogging so you can go for a long jog you can go for a run uh, but if you can't be able to do that you can also jog on the spot within the home area your house your office and jogging is a good way to actually keep warm so we're going to do some jogs uh, i'm just going to jog on the spot ensure your hands are also moving because when your hands are moving you're also generating heat um, from the upper body so let's go jogging on the spot. So we're going to do this for two minutes. Are we ready? So for two minutes, let's go. We're going to add some variations as we jog on the spot. All right, let's go. Jogging on the spot. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go slowly. 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 Increase the pace. Increase the pace. Faster, faster, faster. Faster, 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 faster. Faster, faster and then slowly. So the change in tempo can be able to help generate some heat in the body so slowly faster 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 and then back slowly nice one doing well so slowly let's go jogging now with high knees now with high knees sure your hands are moving also move your hands in your upper body high knees Higher knees, let's go higher knees, higher knees, higher knees, let's go. So these are variations of jogging on the sport. Ah, nice one. And then just slowly. Now we're going to jog on the sport as we turn around. Okay? So are we ready for that? So we are now turning around. Let's go. Turn, turn. Aha, we're turning around. Nice one. And then now, you can also jog on the spot. And add some movement. So you can jog. So 
So as you jog and add some movement, you can be able to add any movements. Jog, kick, kick, jog, kick. We can have some jumping jacks or just some hops. Yeah. Next one that we can be able to do is skipping ropes. Skipping rope exercises are very good at keeping us warm and helping to increase our body temperature. So let's go. So we're gonna do some skipping ropes. So we're gonna do some skipping rope, skipping rope movements, let's jump on sport. So we're gonna do some variations on the skipping rope movements to be able to yeah have some fun. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Now we're going to change. So you change as you skip, you tap, skip and tap. So let's go for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nice one. So now we're going to go to the skip and shuffle to the side. So you're going to do this for 10. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, nice one. So now we're going to skip and then to the back and back and back and back. So let's go for 10. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nice one. So now we're going to the side, the side, the side, the side, the side, the side. So let's go. Skipping to the side and to the side. Let's go for 10. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice one. And then now we're going to do some hops. Skip and hop. So, so, so let's do ten of them. Let's go. Skip and hop. Skip and hop. So let's go on. Skip. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, nice one. Man. So you might find yourself here in the office, and um, yeah, you need to keep warm. We need to do some small exercises. So we're going to have some sitting exercises that you can do to keep your body warm. So first and foremost, you can jog on the spot. So you can jog on the spot. So let's have some small movements as you jog on the spot. As you jog, you can be turning your body and twisting your body. This is something you can do just for two minutes and three minutes and you'll be feeling warmer. So jog on the spot as you turn, as you turn your body, because you're moving your body to the side and to the side, to the side, to the side, as you jog on the spot. This will help you keep warm and will help you have some, yeah, some warmth in your body. So you can do that to the side or you can move with your hands. Move as you jog on the spot. Just stretch out your hands as you jog on the spot. Yeah, so that's one of the exercises. The next exercise you can do is you can do some stand. You can stand up, do a small jump, and then sit down. So what I mean by that is stand up and sit. Stand up and sit. Stand up and sit. Stand up and sit. These are small things you can do to keep your body warm. I know your colleagues may think you're going crazy, but hey, let's keep warm. Yeah. So it's a small things you can do. You can just do 10 of these and you feel some warmth in your body, some change in the warmth. Uh -huh. And one of the other exercises you can do um, while seated um, to ensure that your upper body, especially your upper body is warm. You can do some small upper movements. So just reach out, small rotational movements, reach out, grab something, bring it back. Grab something and bring it back. So you can reach out maybe to your desk and bring back something to your chest. Reach out and bring back something to your chest. It's a good way to also stretch and to keep yourself warm. So you can reach out to your desk and grab something. Or you can reach out to the toes and grab something. So these are good ways to keep yourself warm. Just show the movement, the body. So if you have back problems, be sure not to Put a lot of strain on your back so you can go slowly. If you have back problems, you can slowly reach up and bring it back. Slowly reach forward and bring it back. So, and then lastly, what you can do um, to have some movement is matching on the spot. You can match while you're seated. So, 
just slow marching while you are seated on your chair. You can do a marching, so let's go. A marching to the count of 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, let's do some stretching and then we'll finish up. Let's go to the side. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. Go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice one. Each toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Each toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Additional ways. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then now head to the side. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The side one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoulders one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Backwards one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up and down, up and down. Up and down, up and down. I take a deep breath in, breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now hold it, breathe in. And breathe out. So thank you for joining us today for exercises. We hope you've been able to learn something and keep warm. So one key thing I want to remind us about um, our bodies and how we are worked and how we are wired. One of the key things in our bodies is we have something called a basal metabolic rate. That's called a BMR in short. What that means is the energy that is produced by your body when you're not doing much, when you're not really doing much, when you're seated, when you're working maybe at the office, or just not really doing much activity. So one key thing that exercise does, exercise increases your best, your basal metabolic rate, and that allows for your body to be able to produce more energy even when you're not doing much. And that's what enables us to keep warm even um, during cold times. So one of the key things I would urge you is keep on exercising. Um, do continuous exercises three times a week for 30 minutes um, is able to increase your basal metabolic rate and keep you warm. And one also th key thing that you can also do um, for your child or for yourself, if you are in a time or in a place where you're feeling really cold, one key thing you can do is rub your chest. You can rub your chest. As you rub your chest, you're able to generate heat around your chest area because this is one of the areas that gets cold is our lung area and that makes us feel cold and we can get sick. So you can do this for your child. You can have your fist and then rub on their chest or with your palm rub on their chest this is able to generate heat you can do it right now you can try it with me just fist rub on your chest and see you start feeling warm and you can also do the same for their back their back area if you rub on their back and also rub on their chest you will feel warm so some of the things that you can do to keep warm and um, as we finish up today 
just would like for us to remember and um, that God loves us God cherishes us and as he says in the book of first John that it is not that we did anything it's not that we were saints that we were such great people that we were so amazing and God was like hey that's an amazing guy I must have him on my team no we were sinners we were far from him we were the prodigal son who had lost their way who had run away we were the lost sheep we were the lost coin we had run away from our father we were doing things that he that he does not please that does not please him we were doing things that um hinder our destinies that hinder people's lives we were doing things that were just on the wrong but god still loved us and god still loves us and he has his hands wide open for us and his heart is filled with warmth and with love for us so i want to remind us is that god is not cold towards you that yes things may not be going your way that yes things may not the prayers that you may have offered may seem as if they have been delayed for so long but that does not mean god has become cold towards you that does not mean that god does not love you no god still loves you and what shows that he still loves you is while yet we were sinners while yet you did not have anything to do with him while yet you did not even want anything to do with him he gave everything everything that he had he gave it all just for you to show you that he still loves you his heart is still filled with warmth for you and he wants you in his arms he wants you in his home and that's why he has prepared a place for you and a place for me so let's remember that god is filled with love and with warmth for us in our hearts and anytime we come to him he will not reject us he will not turn away from us but rather he shall turn his face towards us when we come to him with a broken and contrite heart and so let's finish off with a word of prayer Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that we've been able to just have some fun together, exercise together, Lord. And we pray, Lord, for those who may be feeling as if, you know, they feel that like they think that you don't care about them. They think that your heart has grown cold towards them, Lord. Maybe because of the things that they're doing or how they're living their life or the situations around them, that things are not working out as they thought they should work out, Lord. And Father, we pray right now that your loving arms, your outstretched arms, your warm hands, Lord, and your warm heart may reach out to their lives, Lord. That you may remind them, oh Father, how much you love them and how much you care for them and how you have done so so much for each and every one of us Lord. how you gave it all on the cross while we were still sinners while we did not even search for you lord you came searching for us and with your hands wide open you embraced us and you loved us so lord we pray that their hearts may be filled with warmth their hearts may be filled with your love with your care and with your compassion lord we pray for each and every family lord may you provide for them may you bless them lord may your face be upon them O dear heavenly father may your kindness and your goodness and your favor be upon each and every family and each and every person that is listening to this and that is watching this video O dear heavenly father we pray lord that indeed your outstretched arm will deliver them will heal them will restore them will provide for them will keep them will deliver them will protect them oh dear heavenly father because you are our god and you are our father so lord we pray for your love and your mercies and your compassion over each and everyone who is listening we thank you and we bless you in just name we pray and believe amen so thank you for joining today remember catch us tomorrow for our life skills session on purpose tomorrow is all about kids and we have a fun song for you. Goodbye.